Greg Hoffman. I am co-owner of Urban Palm Personal Training Studios, and I am also the founder of the High Strength Training Program. And the amazing thing about that is I figured out a way to cut your workouts down to where you only need two 20-minute workouts a week to build a great body. Today's presentation is going to be on how to use wrist straps and why do you need to use wrist straps. Let me show you. These are an example of a pair of wrist straps. They're my favorite brand. You can get them from powersystems.com or any number of locations, any number of websites that sell equipment for bodybuilders and weightlifters, powerlifters and what have you. And the reason why I use them and why I think they're so important to use is, well, for two reasons. One is that when you're using very heavy weights on your pull downs, your cedar rows, your bent over rows, deadlifts, anything that you really have to have a strong grip while you pull, these help tremendously because the forearm muscles and the bicep muscles tend to be weaker than the upper back muscles. In other words, the upper back muscles can handle a whole lot more weight than what the biceps and forearm muscles can do. And if you don't use wraps, it makes it very difficult to use the heavier weights that you would need to work the upper back. Um, and at the same time, or the second reason that I like using this, personally, uh, this relates to me, is that I developed a, a fair amount of tendonitis in my left elbow. And I did that from heavy lifting with barbell curls, bicep curls, and pull downs, particularly with poor grips, without using the wraps. And that led to some tendonite, tendonitis issues that I have to deal with even today. And these wraps really help uh, keep the pressure off those areas and I'm able to still lift very heavy weights for my upper back without putting undue stress on the elbows and they don't get worse. They've gotten much better over the course of time but the big reason is these wraps so I highly recommend them maybe not in the beginning when you first start lifting weights your forearm strength and bicep strength is plenty strong enough to handle the weights you're using but there's going to come a point to where you're getting some very heavy weights and these really become very useful to you in that case. All right, so how do you use these? First of all, you need to strap them like so. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put them around your wrist, both of these around the wrist. Now, the thing I want to point out while we do this is that when you put them around the wrist, you want to have the strap coming out across the palm towards the thumb with both of them, like so. Because if you have them coming this way, here let me show you. Let's, let's say I put it on the other way. You're not going to be able to strap it around the bar and grip it quite right. It really needs to go towards the thumb. Okay, so once again, the right way of doing this is where you have the straps coming towards the thumb across your palm. And then another thing you want to do is make sure that it's snug around the wrist. You don't want it too tight. If you have it too tight, then it really starts binding the wrist, cutting the blood flow. And you really don't need that. You don't want that and you don't need that. But snug, you don't want it too tight but snug. And then the next thing you're going to do is wrap it around the bar, whatever bar you're going to use. If it's a pull down machine or dumbbells or a barbell, any one of those instruments you can use these wraps on. I'm going to use the barbell as an example. And I'm going to use an overhand grip. Now, uh, generally what you're going to want to do is start off with the non-dominant hand, put it on the bar. And then you're going to take the strap around the other end of the bar and wrap it. And you're also going to, to reiterate, you're going to wrap it towards the thumb when you put it on there, okay? Then you're going to do the same thing with the dominant hand. And this is probably going to take you a few attempts to really get the hang of it, because we're talking about some fine motor coordination that you have to do with it. But that's okay. It won't take long, but you do have to practice it. And do it with the right hand. Put it underneath and then wrap it towards the thumb around the bar. Now when you have it in the position you want, you can actually tighten it or loosen it 
to where it is a snug enough fit for you, just by twisting it around the bar and re-gripping, what have you. And then you can also move it along the bar so that you can position your hands where you want them to be. For example, I have it set up to where I can do a bent over row right now if I want to. Now here's the thing I want to show you. I can lift the bar up, and as you can see, I'm just holding with my fingers. And I'm not even gripping hard, but I've got plenty of uh, stability, support, that I can do the lift even without doing a hard grip. And that's the beauty about these wraps. They're fantastic for working with the upper back muscles. They're fantastic for doing things like deadlifts, bent over rows, seated rows, pull downs, chin ups. All of those lifts that are very hard on the elbows, the tendons, and, and the forearms, and the biceps, um, but in a way to where you're able to work your upper back. Once again, these are the wrist wraps. That's how you use them. My name is Greg Hoffman, and if you would like to talk to me about your training program, if you'd like some tips, feel free to do so. Yeah, I do a 15 minute free consultation. You'll get that information at the end of this video. Thank you very much.